We all have different feelings during the day. We feel happy, sad, surprised, angry, loved, lonely, fearful. They're all everyday feelings that come and go as a reaction to the things around us. These feelings, along with our thoughts and behaviors, make up our mental health. Our mental health is just as important as our physical health. So what is good mental health? It is how we manage all kinds of feelings. Always being happy is not the goal. One should also know how to handle sadness, anger and other stressful feelings. And how do we understand if our mental health needs our attention, if we need to reach out for help? If thinking about exams or your future gives you so much stress that you're not able to study or focus on anything, or if you feel like nobody understands you, even if you're sitting with your friends and family, you feel alone and you don't enjoy, you want to sit in a separate room, or if you don't feel like getting out of your bed or washing your face or taking a shower, or if you feel like you're eating too much or too little, sleeping too much or too little, either feeling like you're going to burst with anger or not feeling anything at all, or if you feel like you can't participate in the household work. If any of these feelings last more than the others and you feel like you can't get out of it, then that is a sign that you should start paying attention to your mental health. The answer to big problems sometimes lies in simple solutions. You can start by taking a deep breath in whenever you feel like it's all getting too much for you. You can write down your thoughts and feelings in a diary to take the load off your mind. Or you can draw it out. You can find out what it is that interests you and spend time in doing that. It has also been said that exercise and playtime is very helpful for both physical and mental health. Sitting with the books all the time doesn't guarantee good marks, but spending time in doing things that you like in moderation does guarantee good mental health. Spending time in spiritual exercises like praying can also help people who are religiously inclined. If these things do not help, you can try reaching out to your parents, siblings, trusted friends and adults, teachers and share the things that are bothering you. Sometimes just sharing things with the other person makes you feel a lot lighter. Their experience and suggestions might help you. If you still feel like nothing is helping you, then you should try to reach out to a mental health expert. Just as we go to a doctor, if we feel feverish or any physical injury, we can also reach out for help with difficult feelings. We all strive to be mentally healthy, just as we strive for physical health. So, it is important and okay to talk about mental health, your behaviors, thoughts and your feelings. <laughs>